Booze and reviews. Mash bash. Mash bash. Mash bash. Booze and reviews. Charcuterie board style. <laughs> so what that means is tonight we're doing a review on Nosferi. Two? Nosferatu. No, Nosferatu. It's a new show on Hulu. Hulu. And uh, The Irishman, which is Ooh, on Netflix, Netflix, right? And then we have uh, Ancient Aliens we are doing tonight as well. So this is our chartreuse board. board. Mash Bash Mash edition. Bash. So we welcome you guys. We are doing all American redneck style this evening with our friend Connor McGregor. McGregor. Mm. Okay, so tonight, not what is it? Nosferatu. Nosferatu. Nosferatu is on Hulu. Hulu. Hey, excuse me, Miss Holly. My name uh, is Holly. Yeah. Have you seen the show Nosferatu on Hulu? Oh my gosh! I just watched season one of it. I heard they're coming out with a second season soon. Uh, who's in what it? What was it about? And uh, who was in it? Who's your favorite actor in it? Who? Nosferatu. There is. Vic McQueen, which her superpower is she can get anywhere by Magic Bridge. Who, How did she um, get her magic hold on, powers? Hold on. And there's Maggie, and there's Joe, and there's Charlie Manx. Charlie Manx is the character, and who is he? What's that guy's name? Zachary Quinto. Zachary Quinto is in the show as well. Uh, uh, what? So they have superpowers, and they have this thing, and it's called a knife. And that's like their special thing that they use. So like she has a like dirt bike and that's her special. A magician's um, wand. Like Merlin's wand. Like Merlin's wand. And that we're going to come back around to Merlin's wand right, later. Right back around. Um, uh, okay. Uh, no. <laughs> he is interviewing me this evening on our MASH Bash. Okay, so. so Nosferatu is, um, I think it's modern day times. Seems Would you? Like it. Seems modern They're in Delaware. They're, well, they're in, they're in Colorado and in Iowa and in Delaware. That's... Yes. They're in Delaware Haverhill. for the most part. Ha Haverhill, Delaware. Because um, they have a ridiculous accent. So there's a bad guy and he drives a 1938 Rolls Royce Wraith. And if you don't know what that is and it's a beautiful car, it kind of has the front end... Never mind. Um, so it's a Rolls Royce Wraith. Rolls Royce Wraith. Rolls Royce Wraith. Rolls Royce Wraith. Rolls -Royce Rolls -Royce and there's a girl in the show that has a bag of Scrabble she tiles yeah. and she sticks Scrabble her tiles. arm in. But what's really gross is it's like the uh, never ending bag from Harry Potter. And she what sticks like? her arm in and like then it like way? goes really deep it and it's like really this deep. much of a bag. Yeah. Okay, don't hold the microphone in my face. Okay. Okay, so Nosferatu, they have to beat a really scary bad guy and his body and his spirit is incarnate okay, thank you. in thank his you. vehicle. Thank you. Okay, so tonight on Mash Bash, Dustin is going to talk about a new movie that we watched on Netflix called The uh, Irishman. We didn't even. Uh, do you want to? Uh, Connor, do you shit. Do review shots. Of oh, uh, review Nosferatu. shots of Nosferatu. So I'm gonna do these review shots by myself, and then Dustin gets to do some other ones. I'll review it because mm -hmm. I watched a little bit of it. There's one season. There's a second season coming out. So tonight, since we're doing a mash bash, we've been drinking Diplomatico rum in our drinks and Bacardi. We're drinking Bacardi in our shots. Uh, we, we also have, have uh, Telemordu. Um, and so we're going to be drinking everything we have left over, aside from the absinthe currently. We're not going to yeah. drink that this evening you can't because really drink that, that doesn't. Straight. You have to make like a. a so cool surprisingly, thing. if you've had regular absinthe and then you drink this drink, um, the drink that we made a couple weeks the ago, Green the Green Fetty. Fairy on the Carnival Row edition, mm -hmm. um, it's actually really pretty good. So you should really try, freak your friends out, make them try regular absinthe oh, first though, and then make them try shot. Oh, you don't want to drink no, this? No, that's fine. That's okay. Fine. Well, I can do both shots. No. No? I'm not drinking whiskey for right. the that's next fine. shot. Okay. All right. So we are doing one shot rating for Nosferatu. Nosferatu. Maybe by the end of this, we'll be able to say it correctly. That's the only one I'm doing. I didn't like the show. One shot. Yeah. I'm giving it another one because there's a love story. Um, and then she ends up getting pregnant. And it's about the struggle. She's a really good artist. And she's trying to go away to RISD, which is an art school. And to so, RISD? To RISD. RISD. And you don't know what it is. It's a Rhode Island thing. Yeah. Two shots. That's all you're going to give it? What was the? I liked it more. What's the basis of the show? Um, Why did they get superpowers, or did they just always have them? Well, I think they always had them. So she was riding her dirt bike in the woods. Oh, so she just found. And it she found this old bridge, and it scared her. And there was writing on the wall, and it said 
um, Willa's. Well, she was thinking in her head, her mom and dad were fighting about something and it was at her friend Willa's house. So when she pulls up to this bridge that they demolished like 20 years ago, that she sees where she's going and then she rides her bike there. But it fucks up her eye and they fuck her up at the end. The uh, Charlie Manx, which he's actually a really good character, and he ages really fast, and it's really fucking freaky. It's based on his car. Oh, it's based on a book uh, <laughs> by Joe Hill. Yeah, I remembered it. Cheers. Three shots out of uh, five. Cheers, mate. Mm. Cheerio. How was that one? Mm. It was so good. There's a lot more Bacardi in that one. Mm. Mm-hmm. Ugh, okay. Three shots. Irishman. Three out of five stars for Nosferatu on Hulu. 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 And then, so tonight we're talking about the Irishman. Dustin watched this. I watched it. We watched like one hour. It's, it's a, a three, three and, and a half, half hour fucking movie. hour movie. Okay. And Ugh. it's a Martin Scorsese film. Martin Scorsese. And it's funny too because Martin Scorsese was talking shit about uh, all the superhero movies that have been coming out. Same and then he makes a piece movies. of shit but movie then, like this. Like, and the problem is. Who is it? He tries to make, what's the guy's name? Robert De Niro. Look like he's in, like, like in his, his 30s. 30s. Like he's not in his 30s. Stuff. The problem is with that, like, you can it's make a, him look young, but they don't move young. Like, he moves like what a, is? Hold on, like what this. is that movie where, um... Mm. Mm. Shit. It's, uh, the guy that's in, um, the Christmas movie that's not a Christmas movie. The bald guy. In, um... Oh, uh, yeah, who's that guy? Bruce, Bruce Willis. Willis. When they try and make Joseph Gordon-Levitt look like him, right? And it looks fucking weird. But, that's what it looks like. But Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Hey, Becca, we're doing though. America edition this evening, y'all. This America. is my uh, shirt that I've had for twenty years that my friend had for like five years. So, American edition. Howdy, y'all. Because you know why Dustin's wearing this? Because he has his horses in the back. Horse stock is attached. His hat is not matted black. But he does have the boots to match, so uh, there's that. Anyway. Um, the Irishman is not good, so we don't have watch to it. Keep it's really on terrible. Schedule. We have to, to keep on schedule. We have to keep on schedule, so we it. don't have a timer, so yep. we're just doing this we're going, free ball we're going style. I guess we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Have a good uh, evening. Anyway, the Irishman, like, the movie might not suck. We watched an hour of it, and it is just so slow. It's like Super mind-numbingly slow. Yeah. slow. And you have to watch Robert De Niro try be to be like a young, young guy. But he's yeah. like beating this dude up and he like moves like an old man. You're like, there's no way in a million years this guy's going to beat up anyone. Right. Like you he's just a push super him over. Man. Joe Pesci's in it. It's like a, it's supposed to be a gangster movie, like Goodfellas style. Yes. And, and but they have but like the, young all when the, he starts. But they have all the same people from <laughs> fucking. <laughs> he said you should spike a beer. Mm, I don't have Yeah. Any. Sorry. But I'm it has like all the same people from like. The Goodfellas and the guy for like literally those same like Joe Pesci. But they're supposed in. to be super young in this. And like at the end, they're supposed to be old people. But during the movie, like they just like CGI them young. Mm-hmm. But it just it doesn't. But work. it's three and a half hours of watching yeah. them talk to their children, <laughs> and then go right. like beat up somebody, but they don't even show it. Yeah, it's just like Irishman. Irishman. Two gets, thumbs down. Yeah, we'll take. I'll take my. I'm shot. gonna throw shots back up into the shot glass. I'm to gonna, negative star. It. This is an Irish whiskey for the Dustin's Irishman. Dustin's drinking Irish whiskey for the Irishman. I'm going to give this. I wish I could give it less than one, but we have to give it a one at least. So it gets one. Cheers. Cheers. But it's just, I mean, it's not like a I said, good movie. it might get better Don't and more exciting. Don't waste three and a half hours of your life. But dude, you can't make the first hour of a three and a half hour movie suck. Mm-hmm. Why would I sit there and watch the rest of it? And waste three and a half hours of your life. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Barf. So it gets a one shot. Connor's back. We missed him last week. He's back Dude, this week. He disappeared on us last week and it was really fucked up. Yeah. It hurt my feelings. Fucking dick. That's why he's in timeout behind us. Yeah. All low and shit. Mm-hmm. We were gonna staple him up right here on this this bottom <laughs> chakra. <laughs> the, and have his face be right there. The base right chakra. In the, in the the base chakra. Yeah. See he likes the what how how do you say it? How do you say it? Tulumore? Tulumore? Tulumore. I'm terrible at accents. If you guys have ever actually talked to me in real life, I'm not good at accents. Mm. Please. Okay, let's talk about the last thing because we've been really excited about watching this. Oh, here, so we've been watching this show for a while now. It is a show. Scratch off. Oh, I forgot. It's okay. Hold on. That's oh, okay. Nos- Nosferatu. Nosferatu. Done. 
three stars for Nosferatu. The Irishman. The one, Irishman one. is one star because we have to give it one out of five. So now we're at Ancient Aliens. Ancient Aliens. What uh, what network is this on? I think it's You're on Hulu on. and Netflix. Oh, no. Yeah, I think it is as well. I think it's on both. Two. To la more do. Yeah, okay. Yeah, to la more do. To yeah. la more do. Yeah. 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 Tell to yeah. them. Oh, to them. focus. focus. Ancient Alien. Ancient so we've been aliens. watching this show, and speaking of Merlin, uh, they said they think. Okay, first of all, the for show, sure. The show is so ridiculous. Like, there's some things that they say, and it's like, okay, I can see that. It's possible. Like, they said that Atlantis disappeared in a day in a ball of, like, fire and smoke and shit. Right. And that it was a spaceship instead of a city, and it went up instead of down. Now, when you think about it, okay, that might actually be possible. Makes sense. Right. Like, why would it be falling into the ocean and be on fire and smoke? Mm Mm-hmm. So, you hear that, and you're like, okay, but they're like, well, it's for certain that... For sure. ...that Gilgamesh... Went up into space with aliens with steam power. Right. It's for they certain. Said like that it's clear. Flying saucers are powered by steam engines. Okay. So in this episode, and this one really stuck out to me because it's like, <laughs> how do you put this shit in this one do episode you believe? together? So they were talking about Stonehenge and the pyramids and all these other monuments that have been built by humans, but are too heavy for even like modern times shit to mm. do. Okay. So think about it. Look at all these ancient monuments. Can you give me an explanation of how these motherfuckers back in the day moved like 150 ton pieces right. of solid stone? So the question is legit. How the fuck did humans how the without fuck did they do it? forklifts and shit do it? Ancient aliens so, on Hulu and Netflix, Hulu I and believe. Netflix. We watched season it's two, It's on the History Channel. It's on, yeah, it's on the History Channel. So, this is their explanation. Okay, so they're talking about uh, in the Bible, is it, what walls was it that fell? The walls Jericho. of Jericho? Yeah. yeah. So, these this army, or whoever, they are marched around, walking around the circle with uh, the of the city, because it's got walls built up around it. Right. Okay? So, it's they're protected. walking around the city walls with the Ark of the Covenant, and these fucking horns. And they're blowing like goat horns. Yes. Okay? And so on the seventh, was it the seventh day? <laughs> Whatever day it was, the walls fall. So they're saying that these people had acoustic magnifiers. Acoustic magnifiers. That shattered the fabric of the walls. The walls of, of Jericho. Walls. On the seventh day. Yeah, the seventh day, day, right? The seventh day or the seventh rotation? Day. On the seventh day, okay. so the they, walls of Jericho fell. Right. Thanks to... Acoustic magnification right. and goat horns. Goat horns. Ram horns? Probably, whatever they used in the ram. ancient times, sort of whatever thing. they had back then. But okay, so that's how they were explaining that with acoustics, right? So then they're talking about how they could move the Stonehenge pieces because mm-hmm. they've. Some and of the this stones are dated, or, or, or um, the, the yeah. mineral deposits, they've been tested. From 200 to, miles away. From a 200 mile radius. Imagine right. how far away that is, and they move these hundreds of tons, pieces of stone around. By hand. Like, by hand. It's stone is hand. what they're saying. Okay, so in the show, they're like, well, how could people do that? There's which fact I agree. And fun facts which which I agree. How the fuck could they move these huge ass things by hand? Are they just like carrying them around? Who knows? Mm-hmm. But they're saying that Merlin, because that's when this time frame is, was around Merlin, used his wand. As a... As an acoustic levitation device. No, 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 wait, no. Oh, no, 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 sorry, he was chanting. Acoustic amplification. He's supposed to be chanting some fucking thing. A a spiritual ritual. Right, and his wand, he's supposed to be pointing at these things. And... Causing them to levitate. Okay, they had anti-gravity devices back then. Right. So they used audio, acoustic levitation with anti-gravity... But they're using steam engines to get off the ground, to get out of the atmosphere? Yeah, they said that Gilgamesh... Gilgamesh. Because that epic story that is told... The epic story of Gilgamesh. He was supposedly gone up and down from heaven, back and forth from heaven. Talk to us, people. We want to know. What are your thoughts? And, and, okay, so we love this, conspiracies. In this same episode, they're talking about but ancestors... But there's people who think that their theories are fact, and that's the frustrating part about this show, is there's... Mr. Rogers that loves to speak like this and talk about how every thought it's is clear. fact. It's clear that it's this clear is what happened. That aliens use. But what's funny? You need to watch this show on fucking closed captions and talking. 
<laughs> we like to watch it on closed captions and then repeat after them and say it as like, we're saying especially it like this scholars. guy. I can't remember yeah. what his name is, but he's got he Dr. speaks Rogers in is an such author. a way as to make everything very matter of fact. Like they clearly use levitation and steam acoustic powered levitation engines and anti gravity to, to move travel these the galaxy stones. and move like, the stones. There's no uh, other explanation. Know. How could <laughs> how could Gilgamesh, Gilgamesh get into space without into space, steam power? Without the steam power, it makes engines. no sense. No sense at all. <laughs> clearly, there was aliens involved. But okay, so anyway, hey, let's do a shot. <laughs> So they talk like you. Yeah, pretty much. But pretty look. matter of factly, Dustin fucking Martin. Let's do a Hold shot. On. Hold on. Hold up. Hold on. So can to, we do our shots for that. ancient aliens? Yes. Okay. In this episode, though, they're talking about in the beginning of the episode, they're talking about ancient people having the technology of anti gravity and acoustic levitation, which makes sound lift things up. Okay. But, Both okay, of these things. Sound can lift things up. That's a real scientific real. thing. Audio waves can lift people up. Could ancient aliens have been involved? Could ancient people have witnessed aliens? Whoa! Yeah, but okay, Matthew, but hold thank on. You That's for not that the goddamn point. Mind blower. The point is well taken, sir. But you can't have in the same episode. Okay, they had anti gravity. The anti gravity. Anti gravity stuff with the audio magnifier. and audio acoustic levitation. Hey, hey, Dustin. And then right like, after so that, so far we're gonna give ancient one. aliens on Hulu one shot. But then right after that, say that it they went, went all over my body. They went ah. to space with steam power. <laughs> like that's literally in the same. Like if you have the power of anti gravity, you're not gonna use steam to power your spaceship to get into space. That is fucking retarded. Like you can't put that in the same episode. You can't put it in the same episode, you motherfuckers. Can't. Because and they have proof that they have found steam power in this time frame of Gilgamesh. So, that's fine. And it but makes sense. They built a mini, like, a mini steam power machine. Use it in a different episode. You if can't put it in the same one. If they have anti-gravity, they would just use anti-gravity. Jump yeah, you just, into outer space and then you get pulled yeah. by the next gravitational like, pull that's out there? Use acoustic levitation. Build your own gravitational and, pull, anti- motherfucker, yeah, with does, some steam. It makes no sense. You can't yeah. put that in the same episode. I was okay. really bothered by it. So, I apologize for our tangent yeah, on no, that I'm one sorry. steam the power one, part. I'm sorry. one episode. But that's all we wrote down for this show because we've been really intrigued by it all week it's there's made, a lot a really of episodes and i think they're like 45 there's, minutes or something yeah hey they're so side note ones. do you like the new commercial advertisements on hulu are you cheap like us and have the cheap version because i love it because it's a guaranteed bathroom break i can go and do my shit and have scheduled time dustin hates it and he'll bitch the entire 90 seconds that commercial the commercials man. are on yeah that's why we stream that's why we don't watch regular tv dustin do you what? Oh. Are, you gonna Are we giving it one shot? No. I love the show. It's so ridiculous. Okay, because there is a Continue. lot of information in it, and it makes you question a lot of things, and that's part of life, yeah, that's is I, questioning everything. Yeah, like, I really like the... Oh, my God, no, I forgot. I still have, like, half a shot in mind. I really like the Atlantis thing. Like, I thought that was a pretty cool way to look at it. And it's it, cool, though. It shows a lot of underwater videos and them, like, snorkeling and scubing well, around. Well, and, like, with uh, the gods scubing and angels around. and the different <laughs> things like that. Like, they can say they're aliens instead of gods. That's kind of cool. I and like it. And it talks about all the gods and how they relate and how they relate across <laughs> different yeah. religions. Also, though... They keep like, talking about harnessing thunder. Yeah, there's... Yeah. Say lightning. Yeah, yeah it's lightning. You don't harness the thunder. Thunder is just sound. You, they, Zeus has lightning. Yeah, they right? keep saying thunderbolts. He's got thunderbolts, but he has, he has lightning, lightning bolts. bolts. And yeah, read a fucking book. Read a fucking book, scholars. You know what's funny though is a lot of these people are like authors and shit, and we're like, how are they professionals? Right. Because Dustin's got a published poem out there. I have a copy at the barbershop <laughs> yeah. if you ever want to read it. Oh, yeah. So legally, I'm a, published author, I'm a right here. You know, we need to get a thing Will that says Dustin Martin. Author. Yeah. Can we... No, you have, Do I have juice a... on you still. Yeah, no, I'm covered in my goddamn... Uh... Uh, hey, can you please time us? What time is it, Amanda Downs? Amanda Downs. How long has it been? 18 minutes and 36 seconds. I don't think so. But uh, in the show, they talk about cool shit. Like, the mm-hmm. God stuff uh, is pretty cool. The... 
they talk about Zeus a lot. Zeus and Poseidon. Zeus they, and who? But they, oh yeah, this is what I was going to say. 1930. 1930. Ah! Okay, guys. Hold on. So for the, next, the rest of this month, we're going to be doing Christmas Hey, theme. join us next week. Okay, so next week, we're going to do Christmas cartoons. There's two new cartoons. The Grinch. The Grinch. <laughs> the new one. The new with one. Pharrell. Yep. And Klaus. Klaus. It's Klaus. Klaus. But it's... 1940. Oh my God. Klaus. Okay, so we're going to be doing cartoons next week, and cartoons. then the week after, we're going to be doing like, really re good, movie. but like, different uh, fucking holiday movies that people maybe Arthur haven't seen. Uh, Arthur Christmas is Arthur one we're going to be watching next week, yep. so we're going to tell you guys all about it. We're going to do a few Christmas cartoons. Yep, and um, some Christmas movies. Yeah, so if you want to join us next Vaughn week. A lot of Vince Christmas movies. A lot of Vince Vaughn Christmas movies. Hey, maybe next week I can make some fucking eggnog, babe. Oh, uh, some fucking oh, eggnog. Oh, shit. Okay. Hey, drink what we drink. Drink what we drink. Watch what, what we, we watch. watch. Love Wait. you guys.